Hey, this is Bjorn Rebney, CEO and Chairman of Bellator MMA. You're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey guys, Daniel Fudo here from ProMMANow.com with the two-time Bellator semifinalist, Brian Rogers. How's it going, sir? Doing well. Can't complain at all. All right, so we're here at BFC 85, the first time on Spike TV, and you're one of the most exciting guys in Bellator Fighting Championships. So what do you feel about the Spike deal here? Uh, it's an exciting time to be alive, exciting time to be a mixed martial artist uh, and be here as part of Bellator, you know what I mean? Uh, it's nice that, um, you know, people, Bellator fans that have been with us for hardcore times and through the FSN days, through the MTV2 days, we're now going to see us on Spike, and I think it's just going to bring us to a new audience as well since Spike's viewership is just so high already. And you've had some, some real high points here in Bellator. You've had a couple losses, like the great flying knee knockout. You won your last fight by decision, correct? Yeah, correct. So what's coming up for you next? Oh, I'm getting ready February 14th in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina at the Bojangles Coliseum for the first round of the middleweight tournament. So your third tournament action going in. Do you think that this is going to give you an advantage over some of the other guys possibly in it that you've already gone you know, for, through a couple tournaments? Um, I think it's nice that you know, I know what to expect. You know, this will be my uh, sixth Bellator fight. So from that aspect, I think you know, I'm, just, I'm familiar, I'm comfortable, and I know what, it, know what it takes. You know what I mean? Is the training or recovery a little bit different? If you win the first round like you've done before, and then you got to fight again in a month. Is there is there anything different because of the Bellator tournament structure than maybe you know other MMA organizations? Yeah, you just gotta you kind of gotta be health conscious with your weight. You know what I mean? Because you need to rec you need to rehydrate, you need to recover, and put yourself back up to you know fight correctly and do well on fight night. But you kind of gotta bring yourself right back down and make weight 29 to 31 days later. So that's a, that's a bit of a challenge. And then you know that week after the fight, you want to make a bit of a down week and then kind of ramp back up. You know, in the big scheme of things. And you train with Jessica I, right? Yes, yeah, I'm training with Jessica I, who's uh, number one ranked flyweight for women in the world, and uh, just coming off a big win versus uh, Zoila Grigo. Awesome. And uh, you want to plug your Twitter, your school, where you train at, anything like that? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, what's up to everybody in Ohio? Um, training at Strong Style uh, Mixed Martial Arts and Fitness Center. Uh, also, thanks to the guys up at uh, TriStar in Montreal who helped me out, the guys in Atlanta down at Warrior Legion that I sometimes get with. And you can stalk me on Twitter at, at Braj the Predator. Are there any big names that you're uh, training with anywhere or at TriStar? Um, if you know the, if you know who's in and out of TriStar, there's a there's a ton of big names. You know what I mean? It's an outstanding facility, and what's even scarier is the guys that you've never heard of that are that are tough in there. So, um, you know, Rick Hawn, he's fighting tonight. It's a guy you know I train with and kind of hit me to go in and get some extra work up there. And uh, you know, he's fighting Michael Chandler tonight in the main event. Is it like going out to nice dinners and red wine and French cuisine and stuff all the time, or like what, what's it like up there? Come it's, on. it's hardcore training. But uh, the last time I went up there, you know, I uh, I rented, I usually drive up there and I rented a place, and so I drove around and saw the city and whatnot. And there's plenty of trouble you can get into. All right, all right, guys. Thanks. Uh, go to ProMMANow.com.